So at every opportunity, you're, you're adding value, fundamentally choosing the best materials, best processes. Let's take a look around. Yeah, yeah. We have hundreds of years of bike building experience on the floor here. We have custom bike building experience that no other builder in the world has. It's not that no one else has been building custom bikes as long as we have, it's that they are one person or two people. So you end up with maybe 40 years of experience, which is good. But we're looking at probably 240, 250 years worth of experience on the floor here. So we try to take our natural advantage, which is experience, and wed it to the best materials and the best processes. And that's it, really. I mean, how good can you make it? I, I think it's, I think we're pushing that envelope, you know? You can see here we have an array of tubing. When we build a bike, we use a different tube set depending on the size of the bike and the, the, the rider who's gonna be riding it. So what we do, uh, the bike builders will do is they'll pull down uh, raw tubing, they'll cut it to length, head tube goes in the box, you basically end up with a raw bike in a box. Uh, so here you have a raw bike in a box. You can see all the tubing has just been cut to length. Uh, so this is gonna get picked back up by the bike builder. This is a, this is a crossfit frame here. Uh, and it just so happens to be going into the jig. So he's been building to this build drawing uh, the whole time. This is where he gets to put it all together like a small jigsaw puzzle and at the end of the process he'll go through with files and things like that just to tighten up the tolerances to make sure it's going to weld perfectly. So there's a bunch of machine work that happens uh, and then we get into a little bit of the, the craft and experience of pulling it together tight. Final welding is a really highly developed skill. It usually takes a welder coming in here two years at a minimum of practicing and doing other tasks before they can weld a frame. Um, everything happens in the same way every time. We don't freestyle any welding. There's a very rigorous process that goes on here. Like the level of precision and, and experience that goes into it is, it's, to call it welding is, is maybe not 100% accurate, you know. We have aesthetic requirements for our welds as well as functional requirements. Functionally... What you're describing though is that they're one and the same. They, there is a lot of overlap. And finally, we load into the CNC machine, and this is the thing we don't do by hand. Our CNC is pro programmed to do uh, uh, an array of bottom bracket shells. So here is finished CrossFit product. And that is it, killer state of the art. Ready for anything, that bike. <laughs> yeah, we've got, a, we've got a fitness that, from the start, the idea was you can go into a, you know, a myriad of, of potential physical realities, but you're only gonna show up with one fitness. Right. You know, and what's it going to be? Well, how right. do you address that? Right. And can that be done in a bicycle? My answer is yes. Oh, and sure. And well. Sure. And well. And you know, it's a neat reality because, look, we're at a price point for guys that can own a whole bunch of bikes, but the intellectual exercise is, yeah, but if you could only have one bike, what would it be? And I think we've yeah. answered, we've given one great answer to that question, to yeah. that challenge. It's easy to have stuff. It's hard to have experiences. So whatever stuff you bring into your life has to facilitate a great experience. Yeah. And if you're just throwing bikes at a, at a cycling problem, that's not a solution. Getting the right bike, both for you and for the things you wanna do, that's the right solution. Then you can have less stuff and more experience, which is, I think, another big part of what we're trying to achieve. Yep.